In the DVD that we have titled, Our Will, A Testimony of Healing, I tell the story that I went through when our relationship, our marriage went through, uh, when God began to do some major transformation work in our lives. And at the beginning of that DVD, I talk about one particular scripture, Philippians 1 verse 6, being confident of, of this, that God will complete the good work that He began in us. And I use that verse to describe how um, it gave me hope when I felt so desperate and when I felt like I was in this deep, dark hole that I couldn't get out of because I knew God didn't want me to stay that way. I knew He didn't want me to be um, stuck in that place forever because that scripture says He's going to take us out. He's going to complete the work that He started. And I knew He had started a major renovation in my life. However, just a couple of weeks ago, our pastor happened to preach on this verse and yet it was from a different context, which really struck me as, as being important because um, the context that he talked about it in is that that verse refers to our entire lives, that we're not to stay stuck at any moment in our lives, whether we're in a good place or a bad place. We're not in a stuck place. We need to be on a journey. We need to be on a transformation journey that will continually be moving us closer and closer to the image of Christ, being the way Jesus wants us to be. Romans 12, 2 talks about being transformed by the renewing of your mind. He doesn't say just do it once. It's being transformed. It's an ongoing process. And just the same way, we won't be finished being transformed before we die until we actually get into the presence of Jesus. God's going to continue to do that work in us. So what, wherever you are in your journey, whether you're feeling stuck in a dark place, you can hang on that hope that God doesn't want to leave you there. He wants to finish the good work. But even if you are in a good place and you're, and you're just motoring along day by day, be re reminded that God isn't done with you. He wants to keep changing you. He wants to keep transforming you as we allow Him to. So we want to hear your stories of transformation, how God is continuing to work in your lives. And you can write those in the boxes below. And if this is your first visit here, you can uh, subscribe to the email um, newsletter in the, in the form just over my left shoulder. And Grant will talk to you again next week.